Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got part two of my video making a hip hop beat in Reason 9.5 using Exhale in the first part to kind of lay the foundation of the beat down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of sound design on those patches using some of the awesome plugins by Sound Toys. Uh, these things are just like so powerful, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around them. You'll see some pop up in a few more videos but really I'm enjoying them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with sort of the patch uh, or the sound of the pad soloed then we're gonna bring in some of the effects and then we're gonna bring in some more effects and we'll talk about how we're designing the things and why we're designing them that way so here's the pad to begin with Okay, now we'll bring in the Echo Boy, which is like a delay unit. And now we'll bring in the Decapitator, which is a distortion sound shaping unit. And so now it sounds much more blurry and distorted and kind of washed out. So now what I want to do is go to, um, and what I'm going to do, this is a technique I used in a video last week about the really cool way of using ghost kicks to trigger awesome sidechain compression effects. You can see it up there, but there's also another way of doing it, uh, or there's other uses of this technique, which I'm going to show you right now. And it's really good for just quickly doing some modulation. So I'm inserting a red drum here, or a reed drum. Um, and we're gonna put four kicks in. Two of them are gonna be soft, and two of them are gonna be hard. I used the dynamic. You can see all of this in detail in the other video I did. Then we're gonna take the uh, gate out here, um, which is just sort of gonna be the output of it, and plug it into the CV input of Echo Boy. Actually, what I want—I wanted to do that in decapitator. The decapitator. Come on now. So, if we hit run, we're not actually going to hear anything because it's just the CV output going into the decapitator. And so now, what I want to do is have it so that this pulsing kick here will uh, increase the drive of the decapitator, but it's got this cool auto volume function, so it shouldn't really increase the volume. It's just going to get more distorted with each kick, but not actually uh, louder. So what we're going to do is we're going to do click on the automate button, and we click on drive, and now it creates um, a channel for that, which should be right here. Okay, decapitator drive, and now um, or, okay, in Decapitator, we can actually just do it straightforward. Um, we can do any of the parameters. So some of them you can't. All the VSTs are a little bit different, but Decapitator is set up where we can just do it this way, which is awesome. Um, and so now if we hit uh, play, let's... You can see the knob moving, and let's create just a more extreme case. Um, I'll keep this open. So um, we can turn this down a bit and get a more, and we can even turn the auto part off so it will actually get louder. Um, And now let's do some tone shaping as well. We'll just left, uh, automate the tone here to get more trebly as Um, I actually think the 
drum, the re drum is probably too fast for this um, in terms of the release time. Uh, maybe if we do this. Let's let the bass line a little bit. So you can see the output and the drive moving in opposite directions. And this is something that's not... So... It doesn't sound pleasant on its own, but it really... This is fully dry. And it just brings that, like grainy old-fashioned sound to it. You might want to add some tape to it as well. Go crazy. Um, now we're gonna go to the bass. We'll bring the drums in. And we'll also throw a decapitator on that, but in a different way. Um, we'll just go to like how much darker and fatter does that sound right there? And I'm also going to take... Um, no. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the drive over time by automating that function. Sorry, wrong thing to select it. Automate the drive. And we're gonna basically create a quick saw wave. So I've got three. want it to get a bit louder as it pulses and then we've got um, let's throw a uh, double lock well we'll see what it sounds like on the drums um, this is sort of a I don't know fattener we could say and I'm also I'm very pleased with how light these sound toy plugins are they're really not so bad Alright, we're gonna bypass that. That sounds amazing, but really what I want is that on a parallel channel. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is create a parallel channel. Turn you on. I didn't need to delete it. I could have just pasted it in, but here we are. So, uh, and we'll turn delay compensation on so that we don't have to deal with, um, sort of the phasing issues that might occur. So now let's mix them in. And I just want to get the two drum tracks. much fatter drum sound. And finally we've got this little lead line here. Okay, and on this one, 
why don't we try the sound toys? Uh, mm, how about the phase, mistress? Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, but not at all wet. Um. And you can really tweak things, billions of presets. Um. Is good and fatter, I think. All right, now the last thing I want to do is throw the um, where is it? the crystallizer, which is a grain a grain delay, which creates crazy effects, and this might be better as a send effect. Honestly, um, even though it's got wet dry, but um, let's start with just a. Uh, let's see what, of course, Pong Delay does. Yep. That's about what I was looking for, but you can also radically change the pitch of the delays. And you can automate that for some really crazy effects. Um, let's just do, I'm not actually gonna do this, but I'm putting it to my mod wheel and now. Anyway, uh, let's just try a few more of these. That's also pretty nice. Uh, the delay is a little, Okay, MIDI sync is probably what we need. That's about right. Um, no. um. That's what I'm looking for there. And now you've got a song that just totally breathes and bounces, and it's just, these are awesome sound shaping tools. I'm really having fun getting into them. Uh, totally recommend you check them out. They'll be showing up in more videos now that we've got access to the wonderful, wonderful world of VSTs. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if there's some other plugins you'd like me to review or if you want me to dig more into sound design. Um, and you know, a lot of these are coloring choices more than uh, effects, but they really add together to do a song. Uh, and be sure to subscribe for more cool videos on Reason 9.5 and beyond. Thanks.